Welcome to Electro Online. In this example, we have bills instead of coins. We have $10 bills and $20 bills, a total of 32, and together they have a value of $440. So if you have $440 in 10 and $20 bills, and there's a total of 32 bills, how many of each type of bill do we have? Hmm. How do we do that? Well, kind of the same way as before. We want to start out by letting x equal the number of the fewest bills that we have. But in this case, we don't know what that is. We don't know if we have fewer $10 bills or $20 bills, so it doesn't really matter. We just pick either one of them. So we're going to let x equal the number of $10 bills. Notice we don't let x equal the value of the $10 bills. We let x equal the number of the $10 bills, and that's very important. So how many of the $20 bills do we have? Well, we don't know relative to x, but we do know that there's a total of 32. So we take the total of 32 and subtract from that the number of bills that we have of the $10 kind. The remainder would be the $20 kind. So 32 minus x, the total minus the number of $10 bills, must equal the number of $20 bills. From this point on, we solve it the same way we did with the, co with the coins. We're going to find the value of each type of bill, add it together, that should add up to the total value. So, we take the value of $10 bills, and we add that to the value of $20 bills, and that should add up to the total value of all the bills together. And now we have an equation we can work with once we plug in the equivalent in terms of x. Now, to find the value of all the $10 bills, we put in the value of a single bill times the number of bills. So in this case, x, which is the number of $10 bills, times the value of each bill will give us a total value of all the $10 bills. We do the same for the $20 bills. So we take, let's see here, 32 minus x times the value of each bill. This will give us the value of all the $20 bills, and together they should add up to the total value of $440. Now we can solve this for x. So first we want to get rid of the parentheses. So 10x plus, that would be 640 minus 20x is equal to 440. So what we're going to do now is move all the numbers to one side, keep all the x's on the left side, so the 640 goes to the other side. So end up with 10x minus 20x is equal to 440 minus 640. Combine like terms, minus 10x equals minus 200. Divide both sides by the numerical coefficient in front of the x, and therefore x equals 20. Now what does that represent? We go back to our definition. x represented the number of $10 bills, and there were 20 of them which means that the number of $20 bills would be 32 minus 20, which is therefore equal to 12, which means if you have 20 $10 bills, that's a value of $200. If you have 12 $20 bills, that's a value of $240. Together, that's a value of $440, which is the amount we started with. So it looks like it is correct. And that is how you do that type of problem.